going on guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing a video talking about The Walking Dead Season 3. A uh, new trailer called Last Man Standing. It's fairly new. It's been out for about two days. And yeah, I know I didn't review it right away. There was other stuff going on. We had the webisodes I had to review and all kinds of other stuff's been happening like crazy. There's been Walking Dead trailers coming out the wazoo left, right, and center. But most of them don't contain much new footage. This one, however, does contain some new footage. And if you guys are looking for it, I'll put it in the description so you can watch it. It's also got a cool background tune going on as you're watching it uh, for I'll Be the Last Man Standing, I think the chorus is, basically. And uh, it shows a lot of cool stuff. It's about a minute long, and it gives us a real quick look at all kinds of different stuff that's going on. Uh, we've got a couple things I noticed from this trailer that I didn't notice up to this point. The part in the trailers, because it's shown a lot of trailers, where Rick walks up to somebody and says, if I even see you out here around our people, I'll kill you. I thought he was talking to the governor. All this time, the way the trailers were cut, I thought he was meeting the governor and talking to the governor. But now that I watch it again from this trailer, if you watch it slowly, you can see that the person he's walking up to speak to has like bluish gray pants, you know, that bluish color, uh, which is the same color as the prison suits for the inmates that they would have. And if you guys search enough, uh, I don't have the picture ready with me here, but there is a picture with Merle with a couple inmates and you can look it up and go through uh, Twitter and that kind of stuff and find some pictures of the uh, the actors that are playing the inmates. And there are a few good ones. So it looks like it's going to be sort of brought back close to the comic book with the inmates and what happens with them. Uh, at least we'll have a part in this season. Um, so, like he says, we, we took it, the prison's ours, we, we, we took it, we spilled blood, uh, you know, all that. And, it, and he's, like, arguing, like Rick's arguing with whoever it is. It seems to me like he's arguing with, um, with you know, at least one of those scenes he's arguing with the prison inmates. Maybe another one he's arguing with the governor, but I'm not sure about that yet. Because I was always wondering, when are they going to meet up? When is the governor and the group from Woodbury going to meet with Rick and his group? And when are they going to start, you know, uh, the feud between them, so to speak? Um, so that'll be interesting. But it looks like at least the first four or five episodes, they probably won't meet as far as what I would predict from what I've seen in the trailers. Now, that's as far as that goes. We also can see some other little cool things where Maggie says, do you see that after she probably went full, you know, on Zombie Slayer Alice from Resident Evil and hacked up some zombies and, you know, all that good stuff. Uh, aside from that, we also get to see, you know, just some different little clips of characters doing stuff. Like you've got T-Dog in a vest and he's putting a gun at somebody or something. You've got Carl in the hallway at the inside the prison where he's putting a gun up. You've got lots of other little, you know, quick uh, snippets that we can see. One of the other ones is uh, Andrea who has a cold water bottle on her head. Um, so she's sick. You know, do we know exactly what's wrong with her? No, we don't. Um, I don't think she's infected or anything, uh, you know, with the virus or bitten or anything like that. I'd pretty much guarantee it. She could have morning sickness, though. Just, just saying, morning sickness, you know, it happens. Chicks get pregnant, they get sick. Shane's done it before. Just saying. Uh, other than that, you know, not too much stuff. There's lots of different, you know, trailers coming out with different little clips, but... I don't really have too much to say in terms of what we can, you know, expect from the story. Um, based on the clothing, though, I'd say that uh, the theory about uh, the zombie in the other trailer being, and actually I think he's in this trailer too, being Daryl, I think is a little less likely because it looks like he's wearing the same clothes as the uh, zombies in the prison, who a lot of the zombies, they put indentations under their eyes. So I'm starting to now think it's probably not Daryl. Uh, because he's wearing the same thing. So I keep going back and forth, but now I'm pretty sure it's not him. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. And I'm uh, excited because also people have been, uh, you know, there's a couple of pictures of him on Twitter uh, outside of the prison doing different stuff and also with Merle. So maybe he'll become bad. We'll see what happens with that. Either way, I'm stoked. We got like 10 days to go. Yes. So like nine days now, technically. Um, yeah. Let me know what you guys think about all the different trailers, different cool stuff you've seen. Let's talk about it. That's really all I got to say up to this point. I mean, God damn, I'm so excited. Later, guys. Trev, same piece.